What's up everybody? It's Blair here again with the Outdoor Movement. I am uh, pleased to announce we've got a thousand subscribers. We finally did it. We hit that thousand mark. Let's keep that number going up, up, up. Today, it's not your normal beautiful sunny day on the bay. It's pretty cloudy. It's pretty gray. It's misting. It's just a nasty morning, but trout seem to really like these conditions in the fall. So we're going to go out and try to go trout fishing with me and my partner here, Rip Dog. Come along, let's see if we can catch some fish. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get on it. So the key today really isn't fishing the exact spots I want to fish. Because we got a north wind at like 10 to 15, so it's going to be bumpy out. Especially on the other side of Goin Island. So we're just going to go try to stay out of the wind and fish some spots that I normally don't fish and just see if they're holding some trout, maybe some drum, I don't know. But um, that's the key for today. It's not necessarily being in the best spot. It's being in the best spot for a north wind that's blowing pretty, pretty hard. We'll see. I don't know. Could be interesting. Could be a, a skunk of a day. Could be a banner day. The trout love these overcast conditions, so maybe we'll get lucky. All right, this might be a sign of a good morning. First cast, little baby speck, about 10 inches. small trout got a nice fish on feels like a big drum this is a trout it's a stud of a trout i don't know what it is i think it's a big drum big bull caught him on a gulp oh yeah i just saw the tail caught him on a gulp with a uh quarter ounce jig head pearl and chartreuse tail guy is a stud. This one's going to be tough. Putting on the heck of a fight. Probably over slot. That's what I can tell. I do have my drag way loose because I'm trout fishing. But still, putting up quite the fight. There you go, big old fatty drum, probably over slot, jig head, just casting around these grass, little islands out here on this super high flood tide. Rippy is excited about this one. There it is, 24 inches, he's actually a keeper. There it is, first keeper fish of the day. When I catch a fish like that, especially a drum, I'm gonna go right back in there and I'm gonna cast again right along that same shoreline because I saw a couple swirls in there not where that fish ate at so I'm thinking there's probably a little school of them in there we'll see if we can catch another one out of that same little pocket there's another one. Oh, that one looks like a trout or a little tiny drum what was this oh yep little tiny drum there's a couple of them over there Oh, that one was much easier to get in the boat. There you go. That one's looking like he's probably, I don't know. We got to measure him. We're going to tag this fish anyway. So I'll tell you here in one second. I'm doing some solo video today because I'm all by myself. I haven't taught Rip Dog how to use a camera yet. All right, so that one is 16 inches. And we're going to put a tag in that one figure out where he migrates to if he does if someone else catches him all right there's another one got a little puppy the one decent one the two small ones so far that was pretty cool looking kind of dingy but we got a lot there you go caught him on the same goal there you go. I'm going to guess he's another 16 inch fish. Okay. Yep, cookie cutter fish. 16 inches. So again, get up in them scales. 
give it a tug and there's your next tag all right tag in the fish there he goes all right four fish out of the same spot uh no more no more chews there so we're just gonna keep moving keep hitting different pieces of structure and look for something similar to what we're fishing here which is a grassy little island it's normally not even an island but because of a north because of this northeast wind it's it's becoming an island so i'm going to try to find other areas that kind of mimic this sunken grass and see if i can't find some more of these drums schooled up i know i preach about this all the time all the time i'm talking about that's right the pole anchor Dude, these things are like 70 bucks 80 bucks at least when i bought this one it was and it is invaluable to sneak up kill your motor down current drift to where you want to be and slide this thing nice and quiet in the water there you go boom caught all those fish because of this pole anchor right here if not with this wind i would be sailing bro add a lizard fish to the catch ugly little guys that right there is a net running all the way to the tip of that shoreline and uh i almost didn't see it i was well i mean i saw these buoys but i was like that's not how normally there's flags on each end so uh yeah just decided to drift over instead of go all the way out around it looks like it's way out there so watch out for those when you're out here there's a lot of nets today so uh probably 15 of them between all around the york river so just watch where you're going if you see a flag look for the other end of it all right rip dog's been a good boy rip dog's been a good boy hanging out in the boat all day so we're gonna give her a little docky break and a little ball break what do you think about that rip i think he's excited Man, I love this dog. Come on, buddy. Get that ball. Get that ball. Ready? That dog is all drive, sometimes to a fault. Bring it in, knucklehead. Good boy. Let's see if we can find some treasure washed up here like this dog bowl i just spotted boom that's a freebie free dog bowl for the cabin rip dog whoa, whoa. well it turned out to be a pretty beautiful day i mean it's, it's blowing it's overcast but man look at, the, look at the clouds and stuff it's just beautiful but uh yeah all in all pretty good day 12 keep 12 speck of trout caught all undersized dinks small small fish and then uh lost a monster speckled trout over 20 speckled trout not a monster but definitely a big speck for speckled trout uh right next to the boat but i did catch four puppy drum three cookie cutter 16 inch fish I tagged and released all of those so that'd be cool to see if someone catches one of those and a 24 inch pretty fat fish that uh is going to make an awesome table fare for tonight anyway guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it uh we hit a thousand subscribers i think that's amazing appreciate each and every one of you keep watching let me know what you want to see post a comment and uh let's keep this good thing going catch you on the next one